Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths. It's Mr Hegarty here and in this video we're doing a GCSE topic expanding double brackets. So by the end of the video I'd like us to be able to expand and collect like terms for expressions such as the following. Before we go there let's just talk about a big idea that I'm going to use throughout the video. Suppose we were asked to answer the question uh, in brackets 2 add 3 close brackets, multiply by brackets 4 add 5. What's the answer? Well, bid mass tells us, just thinking numerically, bid mass tells us that we should do uh, the operation uh, inside the brackets first, the calculation. So this would give us that we have 5 multiplied by 9, and 5 multiplied by 9 is 45. Now we know the answer is 45, but what I want to do is show you a different way of showing that visually just so you understand what I'm doing in this video. What we could do is we could represent the following in a um, picture. So say we had um, 5 along the top. Say we had 5 along the top. Basically this question is 5 multiplied by 9 and it was partitioned as 2 and 3. 2 add 3 gives me the 5. And say we had 9 down the side partitioned as 4 here and 5. 4 add 5 equals 9. Now the way we could work this problem out visually this looks as follows. We could obviously um, represent the problem as following and what we could say is um, working out the answer to 5 multiplied by 9 is the same thing as working out the area of each of these boxes and adding them together. So 4 multiplied by 2 is 8, 4 multiplied by 3 is 12, 5 multiplied by 2 is equal to 10, and 5 multiplied by 3 is equal to 15. So we have 20 and 25, which in total adds together to get 45. Okay? Right. So, what I'm uh, saying, an another way of saying this actually, just before I just do that, let me just take this one last time. Actually, I'll, don't mind, I'll copy the page so I don't lose my previous working. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, imagine I, I didn't have that box there, this box along here, and I didn't partition it down the side, but I just had this. Would it be a fair statement to say, I know the answer's got to be 45, but would it be fair, another way of doing this, is just to do the 9 multiplied by, uh, 2 multiplied by 9, which is equal to 18, and 3 multiplied by 9, which is 27, and again, these add to 45. I could have done that as well. Now, this is what I want us to do in these type of calculations. What I want us to do is realise that this multiplication here can be written as follows. It can be written as 2 multiplied by the 4, add 5, which is 9. And then if we add 3 multiplied by the 4, add 5. So I'm doing 2 multiplied by this bracket here, and then I'm adding 3 multiplied by this bracket here. And that gives me the same result, because 2 multiplied by the, that bracket, which is 2 multiplied by 9, and add 3 multiplied by 9, which is equal to 18 add 27, which is 45. That's the idea I'm going to use with algebra in the following video. So let's move to this idea here. Imagine we are asked to expand and simplify the following. x add 3 multiplied by x add 5. Now notice here with algebra, we don't have the multiply sign here like we had in this case here, we have the multiplier sign. We don't have it here because with uh, algebra and brackets, we don't bother doing that. Okay, so there are two ways to work this out. I'll show you the pictorial way, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, another way. So a way I'd rather you do it. So along the top, we have x add 5. So let's say this is x and this is 5. And along here, we have, uh, sorry, that was x add 3. And along here we have x add 5, let's say. And we can partition it as follows. And all we do is to, we work out the overall area, 
we say that x multiplied by x is x squared, x multiplied by 3 is 3x, three 5 multiplied by x is 5x, and 5 multiplied by 3 is 15. And then we collect all like terms. Well, we've got an x squared. That's not similar to anything. We've got 15. That's not similar to anything. But we have 3x and 5x, which is 8x. So our answer is x squared, add 8x, add 15. What I'd like us to do is actually, in effect, like I'd like us to write this as follows. I would like us to write x add 3 multiplied by x add 5 in the following way. I would say it's x multiplied by everything in that second bracket. x multiplied by x plus 5 and then add 3 multiplied by everything in this second bracket x plus 5. I would like us to write it like that in a similar way to I did it in this question here. So I always want us to take that term and multiply it by everything uh, the second bracket and then what I want us to do is take this uh, this term here and multiply it by everything in the second bracket because this looks like an ex a previous video we did. Now let's multiply this out. x multiplied by this would be x squared plus 5x plus and then this is plus 3x plus 15 and again we can collect like terms you can see it's similar to here we have an x squared we have add 5x add 3x and we've got add 15 collect like terms and we would have that this is x squared add 8x add 15 now both these methods are acceptable in the exam whatever you prefer however I would suggest to you that if you're going for really high scores in maths and trying to get the highest possible grades and looking to do A level, this method here is better because it's going to help us when we're doing factorising. So I would rather you think about this method if at all possible. Henceforth, I'm going to use that method, but if you like the box method, you can use that as well. Right, so let's do some examples. X add 2 uh, multiplied by X add 8. So I'm going to write the question down. X add 2 multiplied by x add 8. And what I want you to say is I want you to say this is identical to um, the following. This multiplied by the x plus 8 and then this multiplied by the x plus 8. So I want you to say this is equal to x multiplied by that second bracket x plus 8 and then add 2 multiplied by that second bracket x add 8. Okay? So it's x times that Oh, x multiplied by that, add 2 multiplied by that. And then we expand these brackets. x multiplied by x is x squared. x multiplied by positive 8 is positive 8x. Positive 2 multiplied by x is positive 2x. And positive 2 multiplied by 8 is positive 16. Collecting like terms, we have an x squared. We have positive 8x, positive 10x. And we've got a positive 16 on its own. So this, if we collect, collects to x squared, add 10x, add 16. Okay, just pause before I move on to uh, other ideas and other examples. I want to say two things. Firstly, an algebraic expression with uh, the highest power being x squared, it has an x squared in it, is called a quadratic expression. And a quadratic expression, you'll see that in the exam, has highest power, highest power x squared. Okay? So it has an x, yes, and it's got numbers, but the highest power is x squared. So that's one thing I wanted to point out. The second thing I wanted you to know is that look at your original question, this here. How could you get from x plus 2 multiplied by x plus 8 to that answer quicker? Can you see any link? Well, maybe you can. Um, what I want, I'm going to write the x squared back in here. Um, two, the two and the eight there multiply to the sixteen. And if you see that, and the two here and the eight here add up to the ten here. 
So that might give you a little inkling of how to do it. If I was doing this quickly, I would know it's got x multiplied by x, which is x squared. I've got 8x add 2x, which is 10x. And I've got 2 multiplied by 8, which is 16. Just something to bear in mind that this number here is the product or the uh, the, the answer to the uh, multiplication of the 2 and the 8. And the number in front of the x is the answer to the addition of the 2 and the 8. So just something to be aware of, but we can still do it this the way I've shown you. Right, let's do this. Um, example 2, we have x add 4 multiplied by x add 10. So I want you to write that as x multiplied by the whole of the second bracket, x plus 10, and then add 4 multiplied by the whole of the second bracket, and then expand. x multiplied by x is equal to x squared. x multiplied by positive 10 is positive 10x. Positive 4 multiplied by x is positive 4x. Positive 4 multiplied by positive 10 is positive 40. Combining, we have an x squared. We have add 10x, add 4x, and we've got add 40. And the answer is therefore x squared add 14x add 40. Again, notice we have a quadratic expression, and the uh, number term is 4 multiplied by 10 here and the uh, coefficient, the number in front of the x is 4, add the 10 there. Right, let's keep going, let's do a few quickly. Um, x add 5 multiplied by x subtract 3. So this is, I want this to be x multiplied by the second bracket, add 5 multiplied by the second bracket. Expanding, we should get x squared subtract 3x, add 5x, subtract 15. A positive times a negative is a negative. Collecting like terms, we have an x squared, we have negative 3x, add 5x, and we've got negative 15. So we've got ourselves x squared, negative 3x, add 5x is positive 2x, and then we have negative 15. Again, this is a quadratic expression, just so you're getting familiar with the terminology, quadratic expression. Positive 5 multiplied by negative 3 gives me the negative 15. Positive 5x and negative 3x gives me the positive 2x here. Next one, x subtract 5, x subtract 3, x subtract 5, x subtract 3. I want us to write that as x multiplied by the second bracket and then negative 5 multiplied by the second bracket. And careful multiplying negatives, we should get here x squared x multiplied by negative 3 is negative 3x and careful here negative 5 multiplied by x is negative 5x and negative 5 multiplied by negative 3 is positive 15. Combining these we have an x squared, we have negative 3x and negative 5x and a positive 15 so we've got ourselves x squared subtract 8x add 15 a quadratic expression. Okay, I've still got a couple more examples and then we'll move on so you can do a few questions yourself. Getting it slightly harder each time. Here we've got a number in front of the x which makes it slightly harder. So 2x add 3 multiplied by x add 4. So I want you to write this as 2x multiplied by the second bracket and then add 3 multiplied by the second bracket which is equal to um, that times multiplied by that is 2x squared 2x multiplied by positive 4 is positive 8x. Th positive 3 multiplied by x is positive 3x. And positive 3 multiplied by positive 4 is positive 12. We can now collect like terms. So we've got 2x squared, um, positive 8x and positive 3x, and positive 12. So what we've got here, 2x squared, add 11x, add 12, and that's our answer. Okay, and x plus 5 all squared, well x plus 5 squared, what does that mean? Well it means x add 5 multiplied by itself, multiplied by x add 5. So when we see something like that, we translate it into what it means. And we're saying this is x multiplied by the second bracket x add 5, plus 5 multiplied by the second bracket, which is x add 5. 
and expanding that out we have x squared add 5x add 5x add 25 so we would have x squared add 10x add 25 combining like terms there I should have highlighted it got an x squared add 5x add another 5x and then add 25 last example and then some for you to try 3x subtract 2 all squared now remember what this means this means 3x subtract 2 multiplied by 3x subtract 2 so if we're trying to work this out 3x subtract 2 multiplied by 3x subtract 2 this is the same as 3x multiplied by the second bracket subtract 2 multiplied by the second bracket and we multiply this out 3x multiplied by 3x is 9x squared 3x multiplied by negative 2 is negative 6x negative 2 multiplied by positive 3x is negative 6x and negative 2 multiplied by negative 2 is positive 4 collecting like terms here we've got 9x squared negative 6x and then negative 6x and positive 4 so if we combine these we have 9x squared subtract 12x add 4 and that's our answer right plenty of examples from me done there I'm a bit tired of all those examples it's time for you to have done some yourself so here's some questions for you to do pause the video try those questions I'll show you the answers in 10 seconds And the answers are as follows. And hopefully you got the answers to those and they made sense to you. So um, hopefully you can now expand and simplify um, double brackets. Um, I would prefer you use the method I showed algebraically in this video because it's going to help us when we do factorising later on. Thanks loads for watching.